Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer exams. And specifically, we're going to be talking about mathematics. Now, there are, um, as far as I can remember right now, there are three AccuPlacer exams because um, uh, the AccuPlacer changed uh, in 2019 to the next gen, next generation AccuPlacer. So, but basically, they're more or less the same categories so you'll have a basic one and then one that will kind of like uh, the medium level mathematics and then more advanced and um, I'm gonna go over in this particular video how to pass the AccuPlacer fast now you're not technically passing the AccuPlacer what you're doing is you're placing it to the highest level you could possibly can and that is a very smart thing to do because if you kind of just go in to and take the AccuPlacer and don't take it seriously well then that's not a good attitude to have about your education because you know if you have the ability to place at a higher level let's say um, let's say it's here we have a particular course here's another course here's another course and let's say this is the highest level course this is the medium and this is the basic if you have the ability to place over here to the highest level um, math course then you don't have to spend the time in either one of these courses and the money now, at your age, I'm assuming that you're, um, you know, this is, I'm sure this is not that for everybody, but probably the majority of people out there watching this video are um, college bound, college age, you know, um, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, something like in that area. And, you know, you might be like, well, I just kind of want to get on to college and go and, you know, get in there. But listen, let me tell you something money and your time is valuable. And when you're younger, you think you have all the time in the world when you get older like myself um, you know time just gets more and more precious and so you want to value your time and if you have the ability to avoid taking courses that you don't need to be in then you need to you really owe it to yourself uh, and your pocketbook and your calendar and your goals to do so okay so before we get going in here you know I want to sell you on the simple idea to do your best. Now, I think that you're already sold on that because you're watching this video. You want to pass it fast. Hopefully, to you that doesn't mean like, hey, how can I just not study um, and find uh, quick tricks and things like that? Because if that's what you're interested in, then this isn't the video for you. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you three specific concepts to be thinking about in order for you to to, to really um, increase your chances to. Uh, uh, place the highest level as quickly as you can okay now why would that be the scenario why would you um, want to pass it as fast as possible well a lot of circumstances can happen outside of your control you might uh, you know you're, you might have changed schools now they need you to take the AccuPlacer you don't have much time whatever the case is you might be up against a particular deadline and you really need to you know see what you can do in a short period of time however if you do have the luxury of spending more time to study then you need to do so and before we go going any further I actually have um, AccuPlacer uh, math prep courses for each of the Ac next generation AccuPlacers I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video for all those courses they are outstanding courses and if I fail to mention um, already I am a math teacher taught middle school high school some college mathematics so this is what I do I do a lot and uh, to help uh, folks pass these type of exams so they're very comprehensive courses and they'll really help you okay now let's shift in and let's get let's get down into how to pass this thing fast now I'm going to start this off by giving you a little example okay and this goes directly what I'm talking about. Let's say this is your room. And let's say, you know, you tell yourself, your parent, or somebody else says, hey, okay, I want your room spotless in two hours. Okay. So what are you going to do? You're going to go in and you're going to break up your room. You're going to work over here, your closet, your bed, and your desk, your whatever the case is, right? And, and, and how long is it going to take you? Well, it's probably going to take you, I don't know, an hour, two hours, but your mind is already thinking, oh, it's going to take me about this much time. So you're going to expand out the, uh, the time you were given is you're going to expand out that task to that amount of time. Now, there's a lot of studies that have been done to show this, that, you know, we give ourselves kind of sometimes arbitrary 
time frames and then that's how long you know we decide to to take it you know to take to do these tasks so now let's talk about the same example right so two hours later your parent comes in you're like oh okay your room looks great and everything else now let's suppose somebody else comes over here and oh it could be whoever right and they said we're going to give you or i'll give you a million dollars if you can clean your room perfectly in 15 minutes okay a million dollars if you can clean your room perfectly in 15 minutes now, i want you to think about it could you clean your room i mean almost perfect or <laughs> like super good in 15 minutes yes you'd be going crazy right you'd have the vacuum cleaner running you'd, that'd take 45 seconds you, you would it would just be amazing so in 15 minutes it would look far better than it would take you to do in two hours so when we're up against it and this can happen when you're highly motivated um, either by you know good thing or a bad thing right in a fear situation people have done you know you know amazing amazing feats because they had to because of an emergency or they're highly motivated because something like this so our minds get motivated I want you to to think how do you pass this acuplacer you know uh, as fast as possible you're going to have to motivate your mind you're going to have to start using some of this in order to um, to help you so this is really the key and not just for the acuplacer but for all things all goals that you want to do in life you don't want to just set long arbitrary you know um, uh, time frames because you know, it's going to take longer than possible so with that being said let's get into my three things here so the first one I have here is you got to get obsessed about the acuplacer okay the math exam whatever it's one you're going to be taking I'm not talking about commitment like oh I'm going to be committed to it I'd really want to do it that no that's not going to work because look at in your life okay what's going on you got your phone your phone is your best friend and it's your worst enemy okay your phone is your is just total distraction you got news you got your social media you got your games on there you got whatever else you got on there text messages etc um, and yes you know it's part of modern day life but this is a massive distraction your brain is constantly over here now when I mean committed I mean obsessed you have to be like I have to be putting all my energy towards this one thing for example let's go over here okay and use this 15 minute ex example clean your room would you be checking your cell phone if you were if you have 15 minutes <laughs> someone's gonna give you a million dollars to clean your room no I'm pretty sure you would just like throw your cell phone out the window you wouldn't even care about it because you'd be crazy obsessed over that task over that goal you would be thinking about nothing else in that compressed period of time frame and that's what you need to be doing here you gotta be obsessed so whatever you need to do you need to to figure it out like okay and I'm not talking forever right I'm not telling you to get rid of your cell phone or whatever but whatever distractions you should write them down and look at hey what am I spending my time on um, I can tell you right now probably the easiest thing is how much time you're looking at your phone and then other ways you're spending your your time but your focus your commitment has to be on mathematics for the acuplacer it has to be because if you're, now I'm talking about we're talking about a gamble right here uh, more or less there's no absolute guarantee but if you want to increase your odds to like almost like an uh, almost to a guarantee that you're gonna you know do outstanding on an acuplacer the more obsessed you are the higher your 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 placement is going to be okay it's just the way it works all right so start there start with your mindset okay let's get to our second point here and that is you need to have great study material okay and it has to be organized so if you're like okay I'm ready to go I'm obsessed I'm gonna to totally do it then well what are you studying from are you like you know I'm just pulling some random stuff off the internet just looking at something here and there 
this is where you need to get organized. You need to get yourself into a good, you know, solid program of study. Okay, something that you can rely on. Now, of course, my courses I think are outstanding, but you know, the, my courses aren't the only courses. You can get yourself a book if you like learning through a book. My courses happen to be video, um, uh, all kinds of different type of prompts, etc. But you can find a lot of great study material out there. But make sure it's something that is comprehensive and is specific for the type of math that's going to be an AccuPlacer. You don't want to just be skimping on like, oh, I'm just going to look at my notes from this or that. And you can't be disorganized. It would be, let's go back to our, our room example over here. It would be like you trying to clean your room with a broken vacuum cleaner and like uh, a napkin and like a bottle of water or something, right? It's not going to work. You, you need like good cleaning tools. Same thing here. If you expect to, to learn math, and there is a lot of math on these these uh, tests, as there should be, think about what's on the other end of uh, succeeding on these AccuPlacer exams. I mean, you get to you know place higher. You know, really, you get to skip a course, time and money. I mean, how much is time and money worth to you? It's worth a lot to me, and it should be worth a lot to you. So, um, you know, uh, you're going to have to study. There is a lot of math on these exams. Um, and nothing's going to be, you know, kind of given to you. So you have to be completely committed and you got to have something that's not just a quick little tutorial review, um, that type of thing, because that's not going to work. You got to really get into the material, right? But again, you can do so much more than you think you can do if your mindset is obsessed. If your mindset is obsessed. So a little bit about myself. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I get so much done by the time probably most people are kind of waking up. I work out, I work, I, I love it, you know, and then I kind of work throughout the day. It's like two days. And I'm not saying do that, but what I am saying is there's time. You can find the time and coupled with great material, you can get so much more uh, done than you, than you probably think is possible. All right, let's get to my last point here, and that is focus. So it kind of all, all ties in, in together. You're like, well, okay, focus, I get that. But I'm not talking about average focus. I'm talking about intense focus, okay? And this is where our minds, even though you may not be distracted physically with your phone, this is where our minds are like this, okay? Here, let me just show you. So uh, here's the road, okay? Let's just think of this as we're driving down the lane, here's a car, coming. we're going this way, and here's the cars are going this way, right? As we're thinking, we have to stay focused on staying in our lane, okay? We have to stay focused in staying in this direction, okay? Hopefully, people going this direction are staying focused as well. But you're not going to be driving a car and then start daydreaming or start thinking. I'm sure all of us have temporarily caught ourselves you're kind of like whoa you know I'm kind of like I'm not paying attention and now you're a little bit over to the left a little bit over to the right that happens because you lost a little tiny bit of focus but losing a little bit of focus can have serious consequences you don't have the time to make the corrections and this is what I'm talking about here you're gonna to have to take your focus and take it to a level that's just you know intense if you can learn how to focus like at a level higher than you ever done before, you're going to be successful in whatever endeavor uh, you do. So I always like to think of the example as the sun, okay? And we have our nice little magnifying glass here, right? So with the magnifying glass, the sun's rays, we can we can start, we can have an intense fire, okay? Intensity, we can like burn through things. Why? Because we're focusing all this energy onto one spot. And that is what you need to think about. Our minds are so powerful. Okay, and you couple that with, you know, uh, a great plan and being obsessed, you can you can compress so much in a short period of time. Okay, now I don't want to know, or I'm not going to get into how much time is a reasonable amount of time, because there's things that are unrealistic as well. Like I say, hey, okay, we're gonna um, study for the AccuPlacer in you know two hours. You got two hours, but guess what? Even in two hours, as ridiculous as that sounds, you could still brush up on some math if you're completely focused and you got a great learning program. But here's the thing: 
I hope you're motivated to to take these exams uh, super serious, you know, uh, because you're going to benefit from them. And if anything else, whatever happens, you're going to, you know, practice like really increasing your mindset to accomplish challenging things in a shorter period of time. And that's going to serve you super well in, in life. So let's go and wrap up this video. Um, again, I'm going to leave the links to all my AccuPlacer math courses in uh, the description of this video. Um, you can check those out if you're interested. Also on my YouTube channel, I literally got hundreds of videos that will help you with AccuPlacer math, um, various level, different levels, basic algebra to more advanced uh, mathematics. If you like this video, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Let me know um, how your um, AccuPlacer uh, preparations are going. Did you get much time to or much warning uh, to, to take the exam? Um, there are other exams out there um, other than AccuPlacer. There's uh, for mathematics, there's the Alex exam. Then you could take things like the CLEP exam, which is another great program to actually get college credit. So all of these may be opportunities for you, especially the CLEP, um, if you're not familiar with it. And by the way, too, I have. Um, uh, courses on the CLEP exam like CLEP College Algebra and those type of things those are fantastic opportunities to not only place into that course you actually get the college credit for it which is awesome so listen I wish you all the best in your education I'm glad that you found this video if you stuck with me through all this thing I'm speaking from the heart and I'm speaking from experience uh, not just as a teacher but a lot of life experience as well so I wish you all the best on AccuPlacer Thank you for your time and have a great day.